Apache Spark RDD Basics. In this video, I'm going to explain about A, what is RDD, and B, RDD creation. By the end of this video, you will have thorough knowledge on the RDD. You will also be able to create RDD using two different methods. What is RDD? RDD is the Spark Core Abstraction, which is Resilient Distributed Dataset. Resilient meaning ability to be recomputed from history. RDD is the Immutable Distributed Collection of Objects. RDD is immutable because it cannot be modified. RDD is distributed in the sense it is distributed to different nodes across the cluster. Internally, Spark distributes the data in RDD to different nodes across the cluster to achieve parallelization. The data in the RDD is partitioned, and each partition is fed to different nodes across the cluster. By doing so, the operations you perform on the RDD are parallelly done. RDD creation There are two ways to create RDD. One way is by loading the external data set. For example, if there is a data set books.txt and we need to create RDD on that, we can pass the fully qualified data set name within double quotes to the text file method of Spark context object. Then we can assign it to an RDD called books RDD. The other way to create a RDD is by distributing the collection of objects. For example, here we are creating a list which contains two elements, red and blue, and passing the list to parallelize method of Spark context object. This is assigned to an RDD called Colors RDD. Let's try these RDD create statements in Spark shell. I am giving the load command to create the RDD. Here you go. We have successfully created an books RDD, which has the contents of the books.txt dataset. To verify this, let's use an action called collect. Collect is an action which we will see a little later. However, for now, just remember that we can use collect operation to retrieve the complete list of elements from an RDD. Here we can see that the RDD contains all the elements of books dataset as expected. Let's try the other command wherein we are distributing the list to create an RDD. Here we have successfully created colors RDD, which contains the values red and blue. Let's validate this by giving colors RDD dot collect. We see red and blue as the RDD values as expected. So we have successfully created RDD in two different ways. In this video, we learned about how to create the RDD by loading an external dataset. We also saw how to create RDD by distributing collection of objects. In the next video, we will learn about RDD operations.